Trump University, we teach success. That's what it's all about, success. It's going to happen to you. Donald Trump is without question the world's most famous businessman. As a real estate developer, he has reshaped the New York skyline with some of that great city's most prestigious and elegant buildings. Now, Donald Trump brings his years of experience to the world of business education with the launch of Trump University. So we're going to teach you business. We're going to teach you life. We're going to teach you salesmanship. We're going to teach you what you need to know. And we're going to also make sure that no matter what you do, as I said before, you're going to love it. Because if you don't love it, it's never, ever going to work. When I build a building, or when I build a golf course, or a club, or whatever I do, you always have to go after a certain audience. You have to be able to pinpoint your market. And if you can't pinpoint the market, you won't be successful. I've always felt location is important, but the people behind the deal are much more important than location. I'd much rather have a really smart, talented guy doing a deal in a not so good location than an idiot doing a deal in a great location, because you'll make money every time. Negotiation is a very, very delicate art. Sometimes you have to be tough. Sometimes you have to be as sweet as pie. You never know. It depends on who you're dealing with. I've always said that negotiation is not really learned. It's almost innate. It's in the genes. A negotiator is born. Once you make a deal with someone, it's really important to carry it through. If you start developing the wrong reputation, it makes it impossible to make future deals. Once you shake hands, that should be it. You've always got to stand up for yourself. You, you just have to fight for yourself because basically nobody else is going to fight for you. Negotiation is a very, very delicate art. The big thing in negotiation is to try and figure out your opponent. Otherwise, you're going to look like an idiot and lose big. Never lose your cool unless you have a reason for doing so. You've got to believe in what you're selling. If you don't believe it, if you don't really believe it yourself, it'll never work. It'll never sell, and you're going to be miserable. Thinking outside of the box is something that is very much of a cliche, but if you really want to be successful, that's how you're going to have to do it. You cannot be successful without passion. If you don't love what you're doing, if you don't have passion for it, forget it. Do something else. You'll be much more successful, and you'll lead a lot happier life. Positive attitude is all about self-confidence, and self-confidence is the whole ballgame. If you don't have a positive attitude in business or in life, you'll never, ever be successful. Oftentimes, you'll see an opponent, and you'll say to yourself, this is going to be easy. That's the worst thing you can do. Never underestimate your opponent. Assume that your opponent is the toughest, smartest person in the world, because that can really lead to victory. People settle for mediocrity for one reason. They're lazy. I've seen it so often. People go into something, they don't want to go that extra step. They know it's not going to be great. It might be good, it might be okay, it's not going to be great. They settle for mediocrity. They're lazy. I've rarely seen a leader that's been able to lead by consensus. A leader is somebody that oftentimes will go against everybody. That's what a leader is. Generally speaking, a leader has to think independently. For me, failure is never an option. If you have to go through the wall, you go through it. If you can't go through it, you go under it, around it, over it. There is no such thing as failure. To be a winner, you have to think like a winner. You have to be positive and you cannot stop. <laughs>